Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode, another day of this amazing program that we are having in the month of May in the year 2020. My name is Anu Ojo and I want to welcome all of our friends, our family, our DSA family, everybody watching us all over the world today on YouTube, on Facebook. Thank you for tuning in. I'd like to encourage you at this point to please share this video, invite your friends. Uh, we've had amazing testimonies for the past few days. Uh, I've gotten some, some feedbacks and people have really been blessed. People have been blessed by the testimonies of, um, uh, you know, people, you know, just people like them, you know, going through life, I mean, learning from Dr. Sunday and using the principles and the values and the lessons and the truth to not just transform their lives, but to also transform uh, people around them, to transform their society and to, you know, to impose the kingdom of God here on earth. It has been mind blowing. And today promises to be also another journey. So I would like to get everybody on board. Let's do all that we can to invite our friends. Today we have another phenomenal lady. <laughs> it's like the ladies are winning it so far. <laughs> so today we have another phenomenal lady who is going to be sharing our own journey with us, our own transformational journey. You know, one thing that we've been able to highlight for the past few days is the value of process. If you missed any of uh, the previous episodes, I want you to go to Dr. Sunday's channel and search for Mind Transforming Testimonies, DSA at 53. So just check, search for Mind uh, mind transforming or life transforming testimonies. I think it is life, yeah. Life transforming testimonies. Uh, you're going to see a playlist like that on YouTube and then you watch all of the previous episodes. You know, the amazing thing is the process, you know, of transformation. You know, oftentimes we are just uh, focused on results and that makes us sometimes give up. We think, ah, but I've been doing this. I've been doing that. I, I've been following Dr. Sunday and I've been, I thought, to, I thought by now I'll, I would have achieved this. I thought by now I would have gotten this result. But you know, Dr. Sunday has a book and the book is titled Process is the New Result. So one thing that we've been highlighting majorly in the past few days is not so much about, oh, now I'm doing all of this. I'm saying, no, that is good that you're having that result. That should be celebrated, of course, because, you know, by your fruits, people want to see your results. But having an understanding of the value of process, you know, so people don't just, you don't just come and say you're doing this and you're doing that. And people don't know what journey did you go through? You know, what were the challenges that you went through? I mean, was it all rosy for you? Or maybe you don't have, maybe you're not going through some of the challenges that I am going through. That is the reason why you're having that result. But well, even Jesus said that he, I mean, he can be touched and he knows what it means to pass through trials and tribulations. How much more us human beings? So we're just having people coming to share their life testimonies, their journeys. And of course, they have results in their lives. So we get to listen to their results. But more importantly, we want to know how their journey has been so far. Of course, they've not arrived. They are still in the process. But I think even from the process that they've gone through, there are a few lessons that they can share with us that can encourage us, that can give us hope, that if this person was able to do it, then I can and I will. So I want everybody on board to please, let's get ourselves together. And I, and I, as I welcome to today's show, Mrs. Chioma. Opara. Good evening. Thank you. I, I, think, I think it's afternoon Good there evening. or is it evening? I think it's evening too at your end. It's evening. Yeah, it's 5 p.m. Okay, it's 5 p.m. Good evening, Ma. Good evening, Dr. Anna. Good evening. Good to have you. How are you? 
Awesome, awesome. You're going to yes, do us a little favor, you. all right? Because we want to see your, your exactly. So either you move back so that we see your full head, your full beautiful head gear, all right? Oh, good. <laughs> exactly. We want to we want to capture the whole beauty. But now we are seeing more space on your head. But we want. Can you can you reduce it so we we don't have a get good good okay, so uh, I think we're good exactly beautiful. How are you doing today? You look so bright like the sun. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's sunny. It's sunny in UK, so we need to be in a sunny mood, you know. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's sunny. Like this, my yellow color. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thank you for accepting the invitation to be with us today. Uh, we look forward. We look forward to hearing from you. We look forward to learning from you, learning from your journey, and uh, we are hoping that it will bless our viewers today. Okay. Thank you for giving me the opportunity as well to come on this platform. Thank you so much. Awesome. For the awesome. Please introduce yourself to Rosma, if you don't mind. Okay. My name is Joma Opara. I, I'm from Nigeria. I live in the UK. Um, I have a son, married. So I've known DSA for a while. So <laughs> it's, it's like you said, it's a process and quite a, quite a short journey. It's not been long, but it's been an amazing journey as well. Awesome. It's been an amazing journey. I work as a healthcare assistant in hospital as well. So. Awesome, awesome. Today, um, there is this topic that we have here, becoming a voice to the voiceless. And um, mm -hmm. this is from um, your profile that you sent to us about some of the things yeah. you're doing and how you have become a voice. Uh, but we know um, the word they're becoming it connotes yeah. a process because if it is becoming, right. it means there's, 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 it's a continuous process. So what we want to do today is to try to go through that process, you know, and to see um, how we can learn from your own process. Um, and then the impact of Dr. Sunday's teachings is, uh, is, um, is life and um, his contribution to you in that process and then some of the things you're doing right now are to you know implement your mission and your passion and your your purpose here on earth so let's let's start with um i mean i've been asking people so far to know how um be, how they were before i mean encountering dr sunday's teachings so if you don't mind can you just give us a picture uh give us a description of uh who mrs chioma was before uh, coming across the teachings and the lessons um, that you've gotten from Dr. Sunday. I've been a, well, I said, um, well, I got born again in 1989. It's been more than 30 something years now I got born again. I started in, with the Anglican Church, that's where I got born again. And when I got born again, those days, they do this digital life thing. At start, it wasn't like that. I was wearing my earring, we were in the church, Anglican setting, and and we have this kind of set of people they call EFAC, Evangelical um, Fellowship in Anglican Communion. And so I joined that ship. So in that fellowship, they, it's like the charismatic thing happening, charismatic movement in Catholic that is happening in Anglican church. So I joined that movement when I, I gave my heart to Christ and... Um, you know, they, they, uh, they believe in removing your earrings, um, tying your hair, 247, and all the stuff, you know. And I found myself doing that, following the trend, remove all my earrings, find myself in hair again, 247. See, my life as life is nothing, it's worthless. Jesus is coming today and tomorrow. That's how it is to be then. I was really on fire for the Lord, doing things. Oh God, preaching the gospel as young as I, I got born again when I was 15 years and really on fire, doing things. That was my job, how I started. And from there, um, a lot happened during that process. My parents weren't happy that I was living my life like that. Mostly my mom, she wasn't happy that 
she couldn't believe they don't usually go to church but i go to church even if they don't i follow my neighbor we go to church with them and all that and as this was going on from i grew up in, from a bar where i grew up doing all this i discovered before to that church i left that place Join another charismatic church, a Pentecostal church. From that joining of the Pentecostal church, before I came to Lagos, 1994. When I came to Lagos, 1994, I joined other sector, you know, and keep going. Finally, through this journey, I found myself in Christ Embassy, 1996. So in Christ Embassy, I know mm, when we when I joined Christ Embassy, Pastor Chris has been. He's been on teaching us so many things. I remember the first thing he taught us, the uh, first thing I heard when he taught us there was a identity crisis, you know. He taught us about identity crisis. And it was really, it was moving on well. Mm-hmm. I thought, man, I've had it. The world, I was trying to bring my whole family. I'm this kind of person when I start, I want, I like pulling everybody along with me. Oh, my family member, every person of mine, I'll tell the man, this man, that's the word of God. He's the man of God now. He's the person we should listen to. And it, it's, it's me and church. All my life was there. I wasn't, I didn't even care about the future to go back to school and all that. But I'm not, I was shared there. I'm always in church. It was, I had to carry everybody along. To this day, I brought almost my whole family, cousins in Christ Embassy. I was giving all that I have. I'll give him my time. I'll give him everything. And you know, in that church, they like you, you package yourself very well. Yeah. Whether you're working or not, as an usher, you need to package yourself, dress up very well. I will say the two things I left there is they always tell us that the only people that will go to heaven is those who win souls and those who give most. That's in heaven, that these are two people that will be recognized mostly, the givers and also the. The soul winners. So we usually have soul winners there where we bring in souls. It's like it's like a competition. You have to bring in soul. You become a cell leader. You want to be a PCU leader. You want to be a PCF leader. It's like you're pushing it, you know, and you have to be up to the top to get there. And this has been going on in my life. And it's like, oh, everything I had financially, I gave it to the church. You know, you... Speaking in tongues, yeah, it's easy. We we all those stuff, all those things. That's what we do. And life has been going on. A time came as I was in Christ Embassy. It's not on me. Mostly when I came, I relocated to UK 2014. I came to live in UK 2014. And sorry, 2004. I left Nigeria to UK 2004. Still joined Christ Embassy when I came to UK. I was with uh, the Pastanita and all that. You know, and then we keep going. I live in North, I travel all the way from North to the East to go to church. It's like, I had to. By then, I wasn't married. But for my husband, would I keep praying. Imagine, because the way, the passion I have in Christ Embassy, I was like, oh God, I must marry somebody that is in Christ Embassy and all that. Start praying and all that. My, my, my husband is a Christ Embassy member as well. And then, the journey continues. And um, it was really done on me. The time came. The time came, I I found out there's things going on that is not right. I needed to pull out. Because they own your time. They own your life. Everything they're doing, they want to know about. As a cell leader, they don't give you any support as a financially. But you have to give everything you have to them. Whether you have it or not, they don't care. I was even in a debt because I had to pay for the venue where I used for my submitting. Then I wasn't working. I had my little boy and I had to travel all the way. Time came, I, I was finding it, I was, it was quite challenging. I want to stop being a self leader. And they were like, no, 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 we don't do that here. You have to continue, you know? And I would travel all the way from North London to go to East London to church. And people be wondering, are you mad? There are churches around. Why can't you? <laughs> find another place to worship. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. They are my family. Uh, you have to be there, you know. Yeah, this is where I am connected. Things like that. I continue like a mad person. It's like, ma- it's madness. Hmm. It's madness. My husband was like, are you okay? You travel all the way. 
But still, we keep doing all this. But 2014, I realized, oh my God, something had to be done. 2013, 14, I realized it's time for me to get out of this thing. What made what brought you what what brought you to that what brought you to that realization? Because you said you realized how what yeah, how did that, you how did you get to that point? Right the time came, things were going on in that ministry that it's not all going well in my heart. In my spirit is like something is wrong. And before this happened, my little brother told me, Sachoma, the Christian embassy you know is not what the Christian embassy you. These people are milking us. I, you need to leave. Um, he told me he's leaving. My younger brother left. My sister, they left. And I, I said, no, go. What do you mean? He said, no, no, no. I'm leaving. And he told me the experience he had in the church where he didn't have money. Pastor didn't even ask him, do you have money? And he, he, he told him to stand up and told him how much he would bring for a church project. And my brother went to the pastor and said, do you, have you asked me how much... How do I eat? How do I cut up? Because you saw me on call, so suited up, and you didn't even ask me how I'm doing. And you're telling me to bring so some amount of money for church project. Are you okay? You know? Then my brother told him, told the pastor, say, I need to go. He left. He called me, I'm leaving. All the people I know, they, are, they left, you know? And I, it, has, it, hasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't yet dawn on me that, man, and it's time to leave this place, you know? Until 2013. But I've been sensing things in my spirit. I was sensing things in my spirit. On that 2013, I texted Pastor Anita. I told her, I'm going to, um, I want to stop coming all the way far to this place. I want to see if I can get a Christ embassy close to my house, you know. And then she told me, okay, wait. When I go, come back from IPPC, we need to discuss it. I said, okay. Then I started going to a small one close to my house. When I started going to that one close to my house, <laughs> it is even worse than the big church. I, it, my eyes really opened. A lot of things happened there, which I, I don't want to talk about. I was like, Jesus, it's time to run away. It's time to run away. I can see the handwriting on the wall. These people don't care. And I'm giving all my time and everything. All the money I have, all, you know that what we do, when you make money, you package it, you want to go and give to church. The time came, I made the money, I don't even have anything from, written on my name. I'll carry the whole money. If then you want to give seed, everything I'm doing is key in with seed. If you want anything, you key it with seed. Anything is key it with seed. That's all, we, all I learned from Christ and Christ. Key everything with seed. If you, want to give, if you want to be high up there, give your way high up. And you're giving out of debt. And you have nothing. Everything you are ripped off. Because they will give you quota. You have to buy Rhapsody of Reality. You have to do this. You have to do that. Buy all those things. I share. At the end of the day, I am always bankrupt. I'm always in rent. I don't have money. I give everything to church. Today, I I don't even give to my mom. I will tell my mom. You don't, you don't give to your mom. Yeah, I don't. My mom will be crying. You don't give money to me. I said, ma... I've already sold seeds on your behalf, so nothing. You okay? You okay? That's what I'll be telling my mom. I'll wow. tell my mom I've already sold seed on your behalf, so don't worry. So all these things are my understanding, comprehension of what I found out there. Honestly. But so, but wait, let's let's, let's 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 try to rationalize that a little bit. Maybe maybe religion does not allow you rationalize things. <laughs> but, <laughs> but wait, my, I mean, once. There's somebody who needs money to buy food, right? And it's apparent that that person doesn't have food at home. And then, in the church, they're telling you to sow seed for that person. And then you are not telling the person that I've sown seed. I've, the money that you're meant, to, I'm meant to, yeah, the money I'm meant to use to buy food for you to eat, mm -hmm. I've taken that money and I've taken it to church to sow seed for you. That that yeah. what that what will happen? That the seed will give her food. It will cover you, uh, to protect her. She is protected <laughs> with my seed, no problem. That is... uh, nothing will happen to her. <laughs> the seed will protect her. With my seed, she's covered. 
with my seed, she's covered. With my, my giving, she's protected. And I'm a giver as a titan. Nothing will happen to her. Well, is it that, is this, was this just you thinking this? Or it was what, was it, is it just your own thought? Or it was what was taught in the church or what? I would say that's what I take home. You know, when, when, when you go to church, there's so many things that you take home. And this is what I took home. I know it happened also in the life of so many there. So it's to you. Are people, or are you the only one who got into debt, or the other people who also got into debt because of this? Almost so many people. Many people that left Christ Embassy will tell you, so many of them that are pastor would, it's like, oh God, I left at last. You know how much I am owing, paying for church, paying for this, paying for that. Because you have to, every offering and tithe you receive, you have to you send it back to them. But maybe these people are not educated them, people. Maybe they don't. Know? Maybe they're not educated. No, maybe they are illiterate. Tell me, who is not educated? Illiterate? <laughs> not educated. Pastors that are highly. Try somebody who can settle for people that are, that are not educated. They will educate you. If you are not educated, they educate you very well and make you to know that you are working for the Lord. You are doing things for the Lord. These things are the things of the Lord you are doing. This is the way you are. This is your ministry. This is how you discover your own way, pathway to the Lord. So you have to spend your time, your talent, your treasure, bring it to the Lord. You're all giving it to the Lord. So all, all, to the Lord. all those times you were there and you were given all this seed. So you, what about your savings? Did you have savings? Savings? Who talk about savings? <laughs> I'm always on red. I have no money. Even today, say my bank called me. Every check I have, cash embassy, cash embassy, cash embassy. And they're asking, who are these people you are giving money to? You always bank. Oh, you don't have anything before the month end. Money has been. So that's the reality. You have to give to the city. Yeah. Oh, God. Nothing. I had nothing. I don't even know anything about investment. I don't even know how to so see that. Never discover me. I didn't even know my purpose. All I was doing is just to run the vision of the ministry. But then, uh, maybe... Maybe, maybe there was. Maybe you had. Maybe you got some results from the seed sowing that you are not mentioning. Maybe when you were sowing those seeds, maybe you. Maybe. What? Maybe you got some fruits. How we do then? You know, King. Uh, if we want to do something like okay, um, New Year, you sow first fruit seed. Give towards pastor's birthday. You sow seed towards um, protection for your family. Um, you will so see to believe God will double the money. <laughs> and did you get any? Did you get? Did you get your fruits from your? Because if you are sowing seed, did you hear me? Did you hear me? I'm always the red. Never get anything. There's what that happened to me. It is horrible. <laughs> As if something. Come. This particular thing, I see if I know there's a check coming, and then there's a program going on. I wrote a check. I didn't have money. <laughs> I wrote a check. And I wrote that check. I brought the money, the check to church. I write down what I want to give. When I go home, there's a particular money government paid me. I'm supposed to use, take care of myself and my little son. I brought that money to church. <laughs> I went empty handed, nothing. The money that's meant to be for you and your son that the government gave you. What, what happened? Why did you write it? Like, what, what, what made you to write the check? I saw where they were like, there was a seed, there's a seed that we need to give towards a particular thing. As a leader, I had to bring the money. I brought the money. I brought the money. And I became bankrupt again. Nothing. It is horrible. It is, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's horrible. It is bad. Wow. Wow. When I get my money, I buy loads of rhapsody of reality. I shout. I know I, I reach out to people. I do reach out a lot. I, to be honest, I reach out. I, I bless souls. I bless life with what I have. But at the end, you have nothing. No seed. Nothing in the investment. You're even thinking of that. Nothing. It's horrible. Wow. It's horrible. You go so, empty. So you got to the point where you realize that this is not it. I, I realized this is not it. And you know when the when they had the divorce two thousand and fourteen, it was a coincidence, I've already made up my mind to go. 
And with what happened in that little church, I left. When I left, I started searching for where I get will I go? What will I do? I started jumping from one church to another, looking for something, you know. Ah, I keep searching. I found myself in different places. And at the end of the day, how did I come to know DSA? Should I come to that? Yes, side or... yes, yes, yes. Yeah, because it was in your search. It was, it was during your search, right? Yeah, it's during my search. I even searched. I found Andrew Woman. I searched. I keep searching. I keep searching. I, keep searching. I was longing to find what is it to serve God? What does it mean? Is it all this thing that we're doing? So see, there mm -hmm. uh, pray it on. I know my authority as a believer, the power in me. That it's all about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm not discovering your purpose, you know. Okay. Also kind. I was in a particular church. Yeah? <laughs> when the yes, started reading newly, yeah, they started doing the uh, Facebook thing, and it talked about uh, the tight thing, you know? By then, there's a friend of mine, Doris Singere, who were in that same church. She has left. That was 2017. She has left that church. She left the church, and um, I'm all, I always visit her because I... I make clothes, I sew. The clothes I'm wearing, I make them. I design clothes. So she designed, I go to her to learn as well. So anytime I go to her, she keeps talking about her mentor. By then she has left that church. She keeps talking about her mentor, her mentor, her mentor. I'll see her, she's listening so tenaciously to that mentor, listening and the way she talks, everything has changed. I'll be looking at her, but I wasn't paying her attention. I was like, mm, I think, I think it's this church thing. Uh -huh. You know, Africa, mm, I don't want to go. I say, ah, the woman, because she's talking her own, I'm talking my own. <laughs> and she's saying her own, I'm saying my own. But I think we are coming to a kind of realization that these people are scammers, you know. And anytime time I come to her, we'll be discussing something. And she will be telling me, go and listen to my mentor, you know. But I'm not, I wasn't giving her ears. I wasn't listening to her. Until a particular day, and I've been hungry, and I've been searching. Keep in me, there is something to this. God, I want to fly. I want to get out of this. There's something, there's like a darkness over me. I, 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 can't, I can't comprehend it. I've been, sometimes I listen to motivational speakers. I go for my way, you know, but I'm not believing in this church thing. But I go, but my heart is not in it anymore, you know. And every time I go, it's like I have a seed in my heart, shivering what they are, shivering what they are talking about. I'm not taking everything on board until I discover DSA. Hmm. A particular night, I was so restless. Doris has been talking to me about him, but I wasn't giving her yet. But this particular night, I couldn't sleep. Wow. I took my phone. My phone is always by my side. I took it that is it either in the midnight in February 2018. Lo and behold, DSS message on my YouTube. She didn't send it to me, but I saw it on my YouTube, and I was like, I listed either a series of love or how to regain your lost years. Mm -hmm. My goodness, I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. I was shaking. I couldn't sleep. I said, wow, is that what Doris is talking about? Wow. Isn't this what Doris is talking about? I need a mentor. I need somebody to repute me. I need to be repute again. There's something wrong. Oh, my goodness. I... I was shaking. I said, no, 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 no. I need to go and see Doris to tell her I have discovered this truth that she's talking about. Wow. I need to go and tell her I have discovered. I need to roll to her. The first thing in the morning, I went to her house. I said to Doris, I discovered this man you're talking about. It is truth. The love series. I was, I want to take in everything on board. How to restore your lost years. My God. This night. It was this night. That, uh, uh, that night. What, did you morning, listen? Was it only one night. message you listened to? Or? Mostly, I think it's only uh, how to restore your lost years. That night. Just that one message was enough to convince you. Hey. I was, my mind was, I said, this is what I was looking for. This is it. Maybe. Oh, no wonder. Maybe because it's, you could connect so much with it because the title of the message is how to regain your lost years. And 
Because yes. of the journey, I mean, all the years you've spent in all those churches in the... So when you, when you heard him talking about how to regain your lost years, he was like, yes, you could find it. Yes, how to work very hard, how to invest, how to save. Talking about people that made it, the, uh, the uh, old bloomers, the bloomers, how they got it, and stories about people... Mm. Uh, KFC and all that. I said, oh my God. So I can restore those years. Wow. It's impossible. So I can invest. I can work hard. Work hard now. I start doing something. I said, wow. I went to Doris before you knew it. <laughs> my life changed. Wow. About fighting where, 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 we, where we should put our money. What fighting is all about. It's a different ball game. My eyes was popped up. I was saying, this is it. Wow. This is the reality. This is the shift we are talking about. This is the top shift we are talking about. This is it. That church is not in the building. I say, whoa! My God! This guy is talking. This is kingdom. My, I was, I was, my mind was, over, I was about, I don't know who way to use to express wow. what I was going through. The church shift. The kingdom series. Oh! Th said, this was oh, this was later me. after this was already this was already after. Later after after i've gone to meet stories i started starting i told her please can you give me dss um, phone number how do i connect it how do i read more i started i go to amazon i register on amazon start reading voraciously my god my mind every day i keep talking about it i go to work it's like <laughs> i'm mad <laughs> i became mad Beauty. i became crazy with the new finding of wow. the world i said this is the thing we're supposed to listen to, this is what Christianity is all about. This is it. Let's talk about the power of one message. Because many people don't know that sometimes it just takes one. The power of one. Because, you know, you had your friend, Mrs. Doris, who was telling you that, hey, I have this guy that I listen to, I call him my mentor. And he has these messages, and she was telling you, please go and listen. Do you were not paying attention to her? She was saying, go and listen. You're like, oh, I don't have time. Go and listen. Oh, let me do what I want to do. She kept on telling you, you didn't, you didn't give her your 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 attention. But then, just one message, just one video did it for you and I'm, <laughs> and I'm just thinking maybe you might not be the only one that I, I listen <laughs> yeah, I listen to love series yeah hey, hey when I listen to love series they are understood that serving God is not serving serving God is serving humanity mm. that's not going to the building going to the coven it is about people it's about people. It's not about the building. Yeah. There's something pastor going to church, being a choir, singing. Those things are rubbish. Hmm. You need to find out the value and the essence of your life. You need to find your purpose for living. You need to find your passion. You need to connect with your passion. Roll with it. Discover who you are. Now I know what it means to discover who you are. Not even what we're there, so teaching us then in Christ about discover who you are. That discovering who who you are is to serve humanity with your passion. Beautiful. I say, Jesus Christ, is it this thing? Hey, I became so mad with church. I become mad with what's going on. I became mad. I start telling everyone I that care to listen to me, whether they want to listen to me or not. I became angry. I and mean, when I mean angry, angry with what's going on in the church because I understood it. I called. Jesse, Jesse, he answered me. I said, Excuse me, this man called me. He called me on the phone. I've been in Christ and for 20 something years. Pastor, please, has he ever called me? Has he ever. Does he, does he know you exist? I, I, I said, it, Does he know that I exist? I sent him an email. Pastor Sunday answered me. Listen to me. Hey, I said, God, who is this man? I remember then that the book I read 20 years ago, How to Heal the Sick. 
like Charles of Francis Hunter, about a man, talking about a black man that God will raise, talking about Russia, talking about China, talking about going all over the world, preparing the body of Christ before the coming of Christ. I, I, I point that I say, sure this man is not that man they saw that vision about to. Maybe he's evil. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe he's evil. <laughs> the book I read many years ago. More mm-hmm. than 20 years ago. More than 20 years ago. I had to even call him. I told him, this. Maybe he had the man. He laughed. He said, he had read it as well. I said, oh my God. I discovered something. You are the man. If it will help build up the body of Christ. Mm-hmm. That is in a mess. You are the man to rebuild this body of Christ. Beautiful. That is the mess. Beautiful. Uh, many people don't know that they can gain their freedom from this so-called cult because uh, you know some of them feel some of them feel like if I if I leave I'm going to be worse than I am. I don't know. I don't know if if you have if you've seen situations like that. So they are so scared. There's you know, there's fear. There's fear to leave. There's fear. To, they feel it in their spirit. They feel it in their hearts. Like, for example, you were saying it, that I, I felt it, that I'm not meant to be here. I'm, this, this is not it. But many people are still trapped and they cannot go. They feel like things will get worse with them. Maybe you can relate with it. Yeah, really. Um, because we are so religious, we believe, oh, <laughs> let me go to church. I need to gas. We, we, we thought going to that building is serving God. Mm. You know, because they've not realized it. When I realized it, I stopped going to church. Mm. They kill me. They kill me. I, I find out, man, I can serve God at home. I can fellowship with him at home. I even understand the body church, uh, studying the Bible better, that going to church is very distracting. Mm. When you go to church, it's distraction. It's a big distraction. The time came, there's one I was going. Even Doris warned me, be careful, you're going. I, I, I wanted to get myself involved before I left. Something happened there. Where they were doing house fellowship. And something happened that really they make me to cut off. I say, if I want to go just once in a while, I do go once in a while anyway. Mm. Take my soul ball. Go in there just, for, just to go. Oh, my heart's no more there. I have I've learned to fellowship with the Lord. Beautiful. I've learned to study my Bible. I understand it whenever I read it. I connect with God easily. It's so easy. Now I find that it's so easy to even stay at home. Some God, you discover who you are. Spend it time with God. It's so easy fellowshipping with Him. It. It's because we are born into it. It's become a culture and tradition. We have gotten used to it and we don't know how to cut off. So we feel like, oh, if I don't go to church today, something I'll be doing. That means you're religion. You're not serving God. You're not serving God for real. It's like something is taking over. If you stop going there and know God, serving humanity, what help people, become a voice, speak out, don't keep quiet. You know, when this thing was going on, I started shouting on Facebook. I started, <laughs> I started talking, hmm. making videos on Facebook. People were calling me and they said, Shoma, are you okay? You sure you're not gaslighted? Are you telling me don't go to church anymore? What did they do to you? What kind of hatred is this? I say, ah, because I'm a victim. I need to voice out. I'm not keeping quiet anymore. Mm. Don't tell me that. I just going on there. So don't tell me. People will call me all the way. Oh, we know you now. You are not sure in Christ University. You are this and that. They will call me all the way, all the way from Nigeria everywhere. They look at my profile. They write all sorts. I don't care. I say, that's good people's business. I am free. Mm. I am free like a bird. I can wow. voice out. I can my mind. I don't care whatever people are talking about. People are living in bondage. People don't wear your thinking cap when you go there. And you know the beautiful one again? That's uh, thinking and uh, critical analysis. Yeah. I want that critical that Oh my God. I'm thinking cap. Hmm. Anywhere I go, I think I don't people come to know where they from. I Jesus, Pastor, is it? Many messages have changed my life. I started investing. I started saving. Within few years, I can do so many services. I buy land. I start doing things. No, no, we, no those things, things you are saying. Day. Those things you are saying. You cannot just say them like that, fast, fast. <laughs> oh my God! It, I'm saying it as it's coming to my head. You know. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to we're going to walk through it. We're going to we're, we're going to walk, because it's a journey. You know. We're going to walk through it. We're, hey. go, we're going to make sure that we're able to take our people on that journey. <sighs> <laughs> okay, let me let me give you some time to 
So, you know, to Hineli, let me speak to our viewers very, very, very quickly. So, everyone who is watching us, you know, <laughs> you, you could see, you could see the, you know, the, the freedom, you know, you could see the excitement even from our, our guest today. You know, you could see that the joy is there. You know the joy of the, of the Lord, the freedom that comes. You know when when there's when there is meaning to your existence, when there is meaning to your life, you 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 know, you almost you don't like you don't have words to express it. You know, that's what we can see from Mrs. Chioma, and um, that is that is what happens when you come in contact with the truth. That is what happens when you dine with truth. That is what happens when you embrace truth. That is what happens when you love truth. That is what happens when you walk in the truth. You begin to walk in the light, you know. And I just want to encourage all of our viewers who are watching to please go ahead. I mean, share this video, invite your friends. And I want you to know that there is an opportunity for you to call into the studio at, at, towards the end of the program. And if you're there and you want to contribute, you want to share your testimony, you want to maybe uh, give any remarks, the way to do it is just to go to Facebook Messenger and search for Olena. That is O-L-E-N-A-S. So Olena S. And then the surname there is Tebelska. You're going to see the profile picture that has a mask there and uh, move agents, yeah? So Stebelska, that's Olena, O-L-E-N-A-S dot, all right? Then just write to us there that you want to call, and when it's time, we're going to call you back. So let's come back to Mrs. Chioma, okay? Now, I told you that you cannot rush over those things, you know? Let's start. Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> Let us let us let us start now. Let us continue with um, your encounter with some of the teachings and the other ideas, the books that you have with Jesus. So I want you to highlight it. So I want us to make it very, you know, systematic. So let's yeah, yeah. so let's yeah. have the very first one. So you talked about how to regain your lost years. That's amazing. Now I want you to yeah. tell us what's what material did you did you did you get in contact with that literally changed one aspect or an, so was it the, was it a book was it a teaching if it's a book what was the book you read uh, if it's a teaching what was the teaching that you you listened to and then tell us how that teaching I mean transformed you and what it had the impact it had in your life so let's start with number one. Okay, I've talked about um, how to regain your lost years. Yes. That made me to understand why she work hard. Beautiful. Stay, invest. I started doing that. And it really helped me. I started buying lands and all that. Now I read um, The Essence and Value of Life. Okay. You know, to find the, why are we here? Mm. The purpose of life, you know. It really, really opened my eyes to know the essence and the value. What, was, what is it all about? You know, life. What life is? I read life is opportunity. Life is an okay. So that's so you life read the essence and value of life was one, and yeah. then the second yeah, book is that. life is an opportunity. Life, yeah. The, um, I, I listened to the message on. Uh, I listened to love series. I've listened to. The true series. Okay. And find out the series about truth, the truth you tell yourself, how to discover things about truth, you know, mm -hmm. what truth is all about. Beautiful. Not what we say, talk about Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. What mm -hmm. is the truth? Mm -hmm. The truth you tell yourself. The reality of life, you know, being truthful to yourself is not, being truthful to yourself is not about oh, talking about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What about you? You need to discover. Be truthful to yourself. Analyze yourself. You know, question yourself. Where you go with? How is your life? It really helped me to be on course as well. That message is amazing. And the, the love series. Mm -hmm. uh, the love series. You've, you've said so much about the love series. Love. We're going to talk about the love series. You know? Yeah. We're going to talk about it very soon. But, I, but before, we, before we get into the love series, I, I was going to say, which year did you... Which year did you come in contact with Dr. Sunday's teachings? Which year was that? 2018. 2018. 2018. That is two years ago. 
Yeah, two years ago. Yeah. So it's just two years ago was when you came in contact with Dr. Sunday's teaching. Yeah. yeah awesome. Yeah. Why and why did I ask that question? Because, um, you know, <laughs> I read a testimony of somebody. The person wrote to one of the emails, and the person said the person was going through one of the mentorship programs of Dr. Sunday, and the person in that email, the person said. What I've learned in just one teaching, just one section of this mentorship program, yeah. I've not learned it in over 20 years of my, my life. day of my life and of my time in church. That's true. And I'm telling you that that person that wrote it, I don't know the person personally, and DSC does not know the person, but that is, not, that is not the first person I'm, I'm hearing or I'm seeing write something like that, that what I learned or what I've gotten in just one month of following you or what I've gotten in just one day of listening to your message or what I've gotten in just one year of following you, I've not gotten it for the last 20, 30, 40 years of my life. And you are, you are here speaking to Ross and... It's just two years you've known Dr. Sunday and you've been following his message. And yeah. in just two years, we are seeing all of this transformation. So you t I, want you, I want you to put it in words for us now. I want you to compare the just little two years you've spent, you know, in, with, with listening to Dr. Sunday, com just, com just in a holistic manner, Comparing it with all of those years you've spent uh, in church. It's uncomparable. It's like I just got born again. again. It's, like you, just it's it's like you just got born again again. Exactly. It's uncomparable. Yeah, there's nothing. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing. There's no way you can compare it. Wow. <laughs> it's uncomparable. I've gotten my life back. Okay. I've, I've listened. I've, I've understood. Oh Lord, it's, I've gotten my life back in the sense, uh, like I'm still in a work in pro a process. Yes. But, but you're in control years, now. Just these two years. Mm. Exactly, I'm in control of my life. Mm. I've learned that I can. I've understood <laughs> the thing I understood about politics. Listening to Pastor Soda Soda <laughs> has made me to join politics. Has made me to get my confidence. I'm bored every day like a lion. I want to grab everything. I want to like run. I want to run with speed to restore, hmm. bless life, live my life with purpose. I've come to understand I'm not here only to marry, have children, uh, walk, die, and go. I need to discover who I am and bless my word. Wow. I want to die. I want to pour out everything I have inside me wow. and leave this place. Be a history maker. Hmm. You know, I'm, in my heart, I'm born with fire. I always born with fire, I'm telling you the truth. When I go born again, you listen, listen, that's me. But now I'm, I'm now understand, wow, this thing needs to be properly channeled. Uh -huh. I need to understand where you're going and see where I can, what I can do to do my ministry work. I can be financially free, be free and do what God called me to do. Within this short period, I understand what ministry is all about. Ministry is not about going to church. It's not about being in choir, singing, and all those stuff. It's about affecting life. Hmm. It's about becoming what God called you to be. Beautiful. It's about being a victim every day, not as a victim Beautiful. of the society. It's about the system. It's about knowing that you're here for a purpose. You're not here... As a biomass, mm. you want to discover it. Mm. And I'm discovering it every day by it. Beautiful. I, I'm free to discuss with anybody, any race. I can mingle, I can interact with anybody easily. It's very easy for me to go into people, talk to them. I know how to go into people psychologically. I am free. I understood life. Wow. It is so beautiful. It is so sweet that I can. I can be a millionaire. I can, I can do a lot. Wow. I can do a lot. Beautiful. I'm not, I'm not head out. Marriage can go good in 
Nobody can hold me back. I can do things. I can run. I can impact my life in the life of my son. I can do things. I don't care what people are talking about. I don't care anymore. I don't care. Let them say whatever they want to say. Culture cannot hold me back. Tradition cannot hold me back. Hmm. Wow. I, 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 Father, I am here for a reason. I am here to do something. Hmm. I am here to walk in love. Ministering to humanity is ministering to God. Beautiful. When I minister to them, I give joy hmm. to people. I change when I impart life. I'm imparting God. I'm helping God. I'm making God happy. Hmm. And that's where my joy is. Wow. I understood it. Wow. Only a few years listening to this man, my hmm. life is like I've taken another shape, a wow. different shape. It's a different ball game altogether for me. Wow. Tell us about the impact of the love series in your life. <laughs> okay. Um, um, I found that in my marriage, it's, it's very challenging, you know, living with a man that's not somewhere you're going to. Hmm. He mostly, he still is into pastor. He's still, he still is this strong, culture-minded old guy. I believe, oh, uh, we're a prayer friend, we're this, we're that. Hmm. He started calling me Mr. That's what he called me after this. It is overwhelmingly stubborn. Overwhelmingly stubborn. That he's not even listening to me. He, even, he said, This man, no, 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 I'm not going to listen to him. Mm. I said, Try now, please. Try and listen to him a little bit now. You know? And some of the things I listen, I will, there's a way I will talk to him about it. I think if he's getting it to him, he's like, mm. It seems some changes. The way I talk boldly, I'm not this. I'm not this victim anymore that whenever he talks to me, I'll start crying. I, I'm no more crying. I stand to him now. I can talk. I've started imparting my son. I've started building my son. Telling things about love. When we listen to the love series, that serving God is serving humanity. You can't say you love God and you are not serving people. That you have to be a leader, a ladder for people to climb. You have to be there like Jesus Christ. Live a commitment life. A mm. sacrificial life. That's what love is all about. I am teaching my son every day. Beautiful. And he's understanding this. There has been a change. I don't see, when people offend me, I don't see them as my enemy. I love them. I still forgive them. I find that, that because they don't understand. If they understand, they wouldn't be, behave like that. So I have to use grace to cover people. You know? I, I, that series really put me up to walk truly in love and see people on the platform where God has kept them, you know, and it makes me to fly easily. When I mean fly easily, I forgive easily. Mm. I let go easily. Wow. I want to, I will still want to come back and forgive them and still do something for them, knowing it's not them that's doing that. And I keep carrying on. Awesome. You know? Awesome. That is really awesome. Exciting. So it changed your whole um, attitude Mindset. and worldview. So right now, yes. you can't just help but love. <laughs> you can't just help just because what you, what you were saying at the beginning, when we, in the part one of this video, um, what you were saying was that in the church where you were in, um, all it was, they were just telling you that you have to win souls. And, and of course, winning yeah. souls, oftentimes in that church, is about bringing church members. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Huh? because if you because if you're a soul winner, if you're a soul winner, and you and you take the soul to deeper life, you're not going to win the award. Trust me. No, you won't. <laughs> it's not registered in your name because you have you have must have a target every month. It's like marketing. You're marketing, you know. You give you a target of how many people you bring into the. If you're a banker or you're a marketer, you have a target. If you don't, naturally. We have lubrically, spiritually, emotionally, whatever. You have to set it up. If you don't set it up with that target, you, on the day of a rank on, according to them, the day they will do award day. They, they, they won't award you. And if you don't bring up to the amount of money you need to bring, if you don't get up to that, it will not be called. So who who knows who I don't if they stole the money and bring to church and, and they are recognized. So you're not recognized, so you're not among them. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're not among them, so you're not recognized. <laughs> so, and they said, we're going to be doing it in heaven. When we go to heaven, they'll gather us and celebrate winners, celebrate great givers. That's how it's going to be in heaven. 
that's the deception. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. so that, so those things was, was what you were practicing there, you know. But there was no, there was no practical love, as if you want to show that you love God. You have to love people around you. You have to go sacrifice yourself. You have to go give to the people who are who are in need. You have to go. You know, it's not about tithing to church. It's not about giving to the pastor, but about giving to you know, giving to your mother that you mentioned. Your mother, who is who, who raised you, who invested in you, who sacrificed her whole her, her whole life. That is where you're meant to give your money to. Not to one church that they're asking for project money. So listening to Dr. Sunday's teachings on the love series helped you to really love practically. And that's amazing. Yeah. Loving my mom, hmm. sending money to monthly. My mom became very happy. I give her money. Any of my siblings. To that extent, there's sometimes a time came my brother called. He's doing something. He didn't have money. And he called me, Sister Chum, I don't have money. Then I've had savings. He was amazed. Sister Choma gave me two money to buy a ticket to travel. He couldn't believe it that I gave him my money. <laughs> because he know he, he knew your history that you were always in debt, always in red. Yeah. There is a big change. And they were like, oh my God, our sister have changed. I said I've left, I've left that coven. I'm learning something new now. Wow. My heart there's a different. Wow. And they're like goodness. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah. Let's talk about the discovery of your purpose and how you how you how you came to discover yourself. And why why I want us to, to talk about this is because you know oftentimes we always seek for meaning out of ourselves. We always seek for meaning in things external we're always looking for this and that's why you know as you said people are going to this church going to that church going here we're trying to search without but yeah. oftentimes the greatest findings that we get in life is not what we find without but what we find within ourselves and until we can search within and discover what we have within whatsoever we find without would fade it will pass over time so, and and then it, it brings us back to that place of you know emptiness where we feel like what have I done? What am I doing? So I think you have gone through that journey, you know, of trying to search without, trying to search here, here, there, and trying to look for things until you got to that place where you've now found yourself. So help us through. How did you go through that journey of discovering yourself, discovering your purpose? That now there's so much joy within you. No, now you're doing so many things that you even never thought possible. Give us, I mean, just an idea of your search of yourself and how you discovered yourself. You know, when, um, because of my listening to Pastor Sunday, I came to for History Makers in 2019. Yes. 2000, I came for the History Makers, history Makers training. And then... I remember we were doing this, we were not even praying. It's all about knowledge, teaching, discovering, you know. The night before I left Ukraine, there's something God told me, you know. I, I, God came into that room, started talking to me. Wow. He was telling me about my passion, about the things I have in me, that I need to go and train myself, build myself up more, mm. so I can do that. Wow. Friend, I need to look for a mentor. I need to go for, I need to discipline myself, sit myself down and train it that I should go back. And that's what process is all about. And when I build myself, I'll have a system whereby I can help people. You know, and when I went back, I started discovering there's so many things. I can make clothes. I can start a charity. I can use it to teach girls. I can reach out. I can. I have a voice. I can speak out. I, I can speak boldly. I, can, I talk. When I understand, I, I go all the way to talk about it. I want to stand for people, you know. And I found that in my family, we are into politics as well. My mom has charity organization. My brothers, we give. We we know why. I was like, oh goodness me, mine. So I can I, have, I can have a voice to 
speak for people, be an activist, you know, like Pastor Soda has told us into politics, you can use it to change nation, you know. Wow, I keep finding out things that in me, oh my goodness, I keep finding, so every day I keep discovering there's something about, I want to speak out for people. Beautiful. And I find that mostly people in UK, the black people, all they do is, most not only black people, we do all we were at, discover, we go to church, walk, charge, walk, we don't know what's going on in the system. Hmm. We don't even know what's going on. We are the lowest cadre in the nation. We don't even know. Our voice is not heard. Everybody's getting everything. We are not, we don't even know the system. We are living in bondage. We are working for Kosam. We are doing the media jobs. We can't be found doing the great things. Even we are, we are being suppressed because we are not united. We are fighting each other. We go to church. We don't even, we don't even unite. I, keep, I sat down and I keep wondering. I said, what? What is going on? I said, God, is there anywhere, is there anywhere I can come out so that I can go and tell people, see, you guys should stop this thing. Can we come together and be a voice? They don't know you people. You people should know the system. Mm -hmm. People are not recognized in this country. Other people are taking over everything, and you guys are just playing in church, praying, 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 and there's no result. You don't even believe in yourself. What are you guys really doing? I want to come out. Everyone I see, I care to tell them, you guys should come. Be a part of the politics, not voting. Be a political member. Be a part of what's going on. Go to your MPs meeting. Be a part of it. There's a way we can be helped. We can't continue to be the lowest card in this country, and we are suffering because we are not united. What are you guys doing? You can even go for meetings, you know, it's like, be involved. Because you guys are not involved and they don't even recognize the people in anything yet. We are just few that are coming out. In meetings, I started discovering that I can do that. I joined political party. I started rallying people around. Wait, wait, did you say you joined the party? Yeah. We didn't start doing that. And the... Wow. I, I, opened, I opened a charity board where the sewing scheme thing but because of this covid thing i will still go back to it and so you decided to take responsibility yeah. because most people in the in the uk most people are just concerned about uh let me just go and work and just find find money for myself my family let me just live and be okay i don't care who is in one politics or who is there let me just do my own thing but from discovering yeah. your passion discovering your calling and wanting to be a voice for the voiceless and for your people you decide that you're going to go into politics yes yeah. wow so you and then you joined a political party a, a political party already yes i did i go for their campaign i go for meetings wow. i go for like oh, so during the voting time i go but i know i'm not really i'm still becoming like i say i'm yeah. still coming out but, yeah, but you took the decision how to yeah doing it bit by bit yeah the thing that happened recently with this COVID thing that's happening yeah um in my class my teacher found that i'm doing a course a particular course i'm doing because i really want to go back to school the teacher found out that i am very outspoken that the way i speak my view point of view that i don't even speak like other black people in the class, the way I talk is, so I mingle with everybody, whether Asian, if I mingle, I easily mingle with people, it's easy, and I know how to talk to people easily. So, my teacher was looking at me, said, John, man, can I call you in, invite some journalists to interview you, to see your view concerning what's going on. I'm wow. I said, why not? I said, are you sure you want? I said, yes, I want to. Just this short period, I've had few meetings, is it with dignitaries? I couldn't believe it. The mayor of London, we had meetings, and I was telling them what's going on among the black, the racism, they should help us, people that don't have paper, they should do something about them, help them out, that people are suffering, you know, black people are dying, mostly the black people are dying in this COVID, why they are all involved in this. You know, I keep seeing the, our limitation, why we are so limited that they should help us out. I still have more series of meetings to go with them, you know, and campaign with them, and they keep coming back to me. And this meeting, I'll be the only black person that will come in that meeting. Amazing. So, so you found your voice. But now, your voice that you've actually had all the while, 
but you were using just to be doing religious things, just be telling people to come to this church, come. You know, remember, this voice has been there right from, right from the start that you spoke to us. That when you, when you got with the Christ yeah. Embassy, you went, you brought everybody saying, come, let me. So you've always been, you know, that active, active person with passion, trying to, you know, gather everybody. But you just needed someone that will help you discover the right direction to it. And you just got it, and now they are calling you everywhere. They are calling you everywhere just to speak, to be that voice. For Tell me about discovering your yeah. purpose. Tell me about discovering your purpose. There are so many things I'm discovering about myself, honestly. And I thank God for DSA. Knowing DSA has helped me out. And I'm still I'm still working process. I, I'm even I'm even I've not scratched anything. I'm not. I'm just uh, everyday discovering. Wow. Everyday discovering that I'm here to help humanity. I am here to help people. Beautiful. I'm here to build our world. Hmm. I'm here to. I have a lot of my plates to give out. Um, Beautiful. Thank God, I, I, I the charity begins at home. Hmm. You know, I found out in you know in the UK, a lot of things are happening to our boys. Yeah. Many black children are being killed, stabbed. I'm still going into it. I'm gonna. I'm still working towards to get into that charity to see how I can help to deliver things are mostly about our black boys mm. many of them are not trained like dr sunday even teach on the family series i've, I've been listening to him on the family series mostly how to be a friend to your uh, be a best friend to your children you know I'm, listening to that I'm really imparting my 10 years old son i've been i'm imparting him so much to teach him how to treat a woman how to be his friend how he can open up to me, how we can we sit down, we listen to Sunday series, Beautiful. and we analyze it together. I, 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 I take him aside and teach him so many things, you know, and as I'm teaching him, I find that, man, this is the way to build up our boys. I need to start talking about hmm. building our boys. Beautiful. Preparing them. Beautiful. Not only preparing girls. I want them to be prepared for the hmm. future. Prepare them in every ramification. Emotionally, psychologically, family wise, you know, get them ready. So, God's so kind, I'm getting myself involved wow. in that area. There's some charities all the that come out to be a part of what they are doing. And because of this going on, I have contacted some few of them Beautiful. to see how I can be a part of. So, you project. have become, you have given life to yourself. You have become, you know, you've become socially active. You have become not just socially active, but you have become even um, responsible now for your environment, responsible for your society. Yes. You are not just there sitting back and just yeah. thinking, uh, what, what, what should I do just to go and pray or just to go and do something? No, but now you are saying, okay, how can I contribute? What can I do to solve issues? Now, the burden of the society you know, as now you're, you're paying attention to it and you're not just complaining like most people do, but you're saying, how can I, what can we, I do? How can I join forces? Which organization can I join? How can we make this a reality? How can we solve the problems, you know? And that's exactly what the kingdom of God is meant to be about. The kingdom of God is meant to be about how we can impose the reality of heaven, impose the truth of God that's right. to resolve the problems of the earth. Not to go to heaven, but to solve issues that we see here on earth. What is the problem here? What is the problem there? Wow, fantastic. Now, you said something about your brother. Let's go to that part. I think I'm interested. You said your brother once called you and said, my sister, I need money. And you just said, no problem. Let me, let me just get some things in my service and they just give you money. And you said he was shocked. He was surprised that, A, hey, my sister has savings. Hey, my God. <laughs> Tell us your journey in, as regards finances from where you were before in debt. You know, you were there because of the church, no knowledge of the laws of money and everything. You were in debt, struggling giving out, you know, living from paycheck to paycheck, no savings, nothing like investment. 
But now, the story is different. Please tell us how, what happened, did, what, what, tell us what, what changed, what did you do, did you join anything? Yeah, I'm listening to, yeah, I'm listening to Dr. Sunday on Laws of Money and also joining the MSMG. <laughs> it's been a great blessing in my life. I'm listening to the law of money as well and uh, money will make you rich. Stop working for Uncle Sam. <laughs> Those series is another thing also that has really really helping me to look into investment. I've started looking into investment. I'm not scared to invest. But wait, before you get to investment, <laughs> let's, let's to come back because for, before you can invest, you must have something to invest. Yeah, because, you know, investment means you have something already in your savings and you are ready to use that money to, you know, to go for your investment. Now, let's talk about how the change you said you listened to the laws of money and you joined the msmg and that is the millionaires group right that is the that is the millionaires group that dr sunday is having so tell yes. us how joining that millionaires group how did what happened how did it, how did you get to start saving it, it, it was Anyway, when I heard about it, I believe, I've, you know, Dr. Sembe has told us how he raised 2, uh, 200 million years in his church, you know. Yeah, yeah. I somewhat believe in his dream. He said, if you follow me, I'll make you. Mm. And I said, I'll follow him and I want to be paid. You are not I skeptical. I want the next three or four years of my life to stop working for Kosam. I want to be free financially so I can go and do. There are great things to be done all over the world, not only in Africa, everywhere. Nations need to call us, you know. Nations need to call us. When we do start doing things financially, you are, you are there, like Oprah, we free all these great people that are, have voices. I want to be that voice. Wow. So I work hard. I learned to save 30% or 50% of my money. I've taught us. Wait, I wait, 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 I have. wait. I don't Can you see that? I sell off my car. No, no. I want, I want to save. No, no, no. Don't, don't, say, don't say those things just fast, fast. Because... For you, for you, it's like, it's like okay, I, I did it, I did it, I did it. You have to say it one after the other, because people have to really hear what you said. You just, you just I said so, that... Kind of yeah, because, you, know, you think, yeah, he, he, you think he, it's he, trivial. The teaching has really... You think it's trivial. You think it's like, okay, now I'm, I'm saving 30%, 50%. You know, people cannot save 1% of their money. Some people cannot save... No, it, Five percent. It, it, it's very challenging to save, but when you start doing that, you find a job because you cannot invest if you don't save. And also being in the right environment, like listening to Dr. Sunday, is the best environment in life you can be. Meeting other people as well, you have to be in the right environment to, for your mindset to change. And I thank God for that. As my mindset has changed, I've been in the right environment to the right people, you know, and. It's very challenging, but I'm getting there. So now you save, so now from, has, from your revenue, you save 30 to 50%. Yeah. Wow. It's, 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 it's very challenging, but I had to put money aside. I make sure when money comes, I put something aside. Money comes, I put something aside. And the way opportunity investment comes to me, people will get information, they'll come to me and say, eh, anything I see, I see it as an opportunity. I don't want to miss it. Even if it is 100 pounds, I will invest. Wow. I will invest. Wow. Because I know that it's coming back. I'm working project. I'm working with the time that I need to free myself from this thing I'm into because I want to be free to do something for the, to change my world. I want the world changed. Wow. And I can't change the world. I need to be free. I don't want anybody to control me. Wow. Wow. So now, now you have you have a vision now for yourself, and you know exactly the purpose yeah. of money because you know Dr. Sunday has yes. one the, the very first law of money. You know, uh, he says money is not to be spent, and that very first law of money, it it disbalances the equilibrium for many people. So they're like, what do you mean? Money is not to be spent. Well, that's that's the whole essence of me working. I'm working. I'm working so hard. Yeah. 
I'm working so hard. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I'm working so hard to get money so that I can spend. No, no, it's not money for spending. It's not for spending. It's for investing. You don't spend money. Wow. Yeah. So that, so that, so, yeah, so you had that change now in your mindset that now I, when my money comes, I don't just look for, oh, what, what bag have I not bought? What shoe have I not bought? Um, okay, well, which seat should I sell to what? But now you are thinking of, okay, how do I save 30 to 50% of my money? What investments are there open? What opportunities are there for me to invest? Yeah. Wow. Talk about some of the opportunities that, I mean, just, just the experience being in MSMG and with some of the opportunities that comes in the MSMG group. How your, what are your responses to that? When you see the, <laughs> when you see the investment opportunities it's not, it's there? Not, it's, there's a lot going on in MSMG. I wish people were, I was telling everybody to come on board. Then we discuss about, I find that it's going into property business. Um, although, turning everything you have, like, you're downsizing yourself, using your house for accommodation. Beautiful. Just, just downsize yourself. You use what you have to make money. Cut your the expenses. The car you have, use it to make, make it to be a liability. Make everything to be an asset. Is it getting you money? The car you have, is it getting you money? The house you live in, is it getting you money? You have all the side runs, is it getting you money? Get, get, think every day. Even your bank account, you need to do something to make it to get you money. Do something to get money. There was money everywhere. Sit yourself down wow. every day by day. That's what I do. And see opportunities. There are opportunities. Mm. And when they come, don't be scared. Don't be scared to go into it. Make your findings. Go into it. And don't be scared. Wow. And before you know it, you can be a millionaire. It's easy. It's possible. And I'm, I mean, I'm, 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 like I said, I'm working progress. And I'm, 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 I'm getting there. Because you don't see it as you don't see it as something. Because most people, when they hear of um, millionaire, they think, "Oh, huh, that's like far fetched. Like maybe uh, only some select few. You know, maybe it's going to be very hard for anybody to become a millionaire." But you being in the millionaires group, you know, now you know that it's a reality. Something is something that is achievable. Pastor Sunday thought on life is predictable. Hmm. You can predict your life. You talked about processes and systems. You can process your life. You can prepare yourself for the future. If you don't prepare yourself with the information that you hear and get yourself ready, have a mentor who watches over you and be focused and get things done, you will get there. Those people, you know, listening to Pastor Sunday has made me to also start thinking about those who have, are rich. I listen, I uh, read a book on Donald Trump, mm -hmm. Oprah Winfrey, all the celebrities. They didn't just, they didn't just say match. Dr. Sunday didn't just come up like that. You, you started somewhere. You have to start somewhere. There's no magic about it. Mana doesn't fall in heaven like that. You don't pray about it. Walk about it. Mm -hmm. Walk in your, walk your, walk it out. You got to change you. Yeah. You got to change your inner value you have to change yes, you, you have yes, to be yourself yes certainly be on top of it before you know it give yourself time write it down life is a process mm. it's a system that's the way god made us and that's the way we're supposed to live Beautiful. it's not about praying and not believing in yourself and you believe in god you don't believe in yourself you are not going anywhere you have to believe in yourself you have to change you. Hmm. You have to change, change your time. Discipline yourself. There's a lot to do to yourself. You got to beat yourself down. Go down to come up. You got to come down. Go down to come up. Downsize yourself. All those things you don't need. Uh, Ashebi, you buy this clothes, buy this shoe, buy this handbag. You don't need them. How many will you wear for crying out loud? Save money. Help the world. See Bill Gates them. See what they are doing. I watch a film on him. I watch a film on Bill Gates and uh, 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 Melinda. It's because I listen to Dr. Sunday. And I, I find that I, 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 I'm busy listening. Self-education. Educate yourself. Mm. Read. Up to date. 
Don't be obsolete. Get yourself ready. Prepare yourself for the future. It's only those who are prepared that will be used, you know. But if you're not prepared, you're, you're obsolete. You don't study. You don't read. Read. It's good to get yourself afloat with knowledge. Mm. All these things are things I learned from Pastor Sunday. And I'm really preparing myself. I am still work in progress, but I am getting there. Beautiful. I know the future is so bright. Yeah. I know I can predict my tomorrow. Oh, amazing. Amazing. And you're regaining those years. You're regaining those lost years. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, amazing testimony. I want to speak to our, to our viewers who are watching us right now. Uh, we're about to open the line for as many of you who are interested in uh, contributing to, to the discussion today, you know, sharing your own testimony. Maybe you want to tell us a little about your journey, you know, summarize. Uh, the way to do it is to go to Facebook Messenger and search for Olena s so o l e n a is the name then s dot stebelska you're going to see the picture there move agent and um, just write to us on the facebook messenger that you like to contribute and um, we would give you a call from the studio just to hear your thoughts about it it's been a i mean a mind-blowing journey of transformation you know just i'm just trying to just make our, our viewers to understand how this picture means if you've ever lived in debt and um, lived in perpetual debt with no savings, with nothing like investment, or maybe Miss, Mrs. Mrs. Chioma, or maybe, yeah. maybe or maybe you had some investment before. Were you were you were you were you having any investment before? Investment before. Who gave me that one? I didn't even know about investment. Who connected? Right now, I'm even scared to do investment with who? Wow. No. <laughs> so from so it's like it's like just two worlds. It's like black and white. So it's like just one world where you were just a slave to the system. There was no vision. There was no purpose to even you having money. You were just living, just just existing basically. You know, just trying to work. And then your hard money, you go, you just give it to church. You were, I mean, always in debt. And now the story is different. Not, on, not only now do you have savings, but now you're, you are into different investment. Of course, no, you don't need to even list the investment. But by virtue of being in the MSMG, and I know already that you're already in a couple of investments, you know. Then apart from that, now your life is like on a rail. It's like you've put your, your life on a path. You know how it is on a track, you know. So you just know that it's already there. So the, the locomotor train is now just walking. You know that I'm destined for something. So it's just time. I'm, I'm on track. There's a vision to my life. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm laser focused, just walking hard. Or myself working, self-educating, like you've said, and I mean, what testimony can be greater than that? Discovering your purpose and working. How does that make you feel, Mrs. Chioma, yourself right now? What does? How does that make you feel as a, as, a, as an individual? Oh, it's beautiful. With this, I can see the future. I can mm. see. Um, I'm, I'm planning in the, in my, before I turn 50, where I'm going to. <laughs> I've already. Wow. <laughs> already what's going to happen in the next three or five years of my life. Beautiful. And Beautiful. I, I have already planned every day. I can't sleep. I'm planning. And hmm. I, want, I want to go to years to come back and to fulfill the goal of God in my life. Beautiful. The purpose of my life. Hmm. This is every, this my dream every day. Wow. And I'm sleeping, I'm rising, finding myself in that place and hmm. looking for opportunities. And they're all coming my way. Every day they keep coming. The way they come is so easily. Wow. I don't even struggle. They just come around looking for me. Wow. Wow. Because I, I, my heart is open to do something, to change my world, hmm. to die empty. Beautiful. You know, listening to him about uh, who will come for your funeral, you know, hmm. that have been that. Uh, Vision that when I live here, I want to go empty. Beautiful. Go out to share everything that I have. Keep it my word hmm. and go here empty. 
Wow. That's why I'm here. Wow. Wow. What a life. Now there's now there's now life makes sense. Now life makes sense. Now now there's joy to life. Now okay, because I know that I'm I'm I, there's 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 an intention. There's a goal. I want to just pour out myself. I want to just release everything. I want to just you know just die empty. You know that just gives a lot of meaning to life. You're not just existing. You're not just going through the motions. Just okay today I wake up. Uh, what will I do today? Um, okay. <laughs> What's what is even what will I even do this week? But no, that's not the case for you. Wow, amazing, amazing. If we have colors, uh, every challenge you go through in life, you find yeah. that that challenge is teaching you, making you strong so that you can use it to teach others. Yes, yes. If I'm looking for trouble, I'm looking for problem. I'll become a solution provider. Beautiful, 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 awesome. Thank you very much. We're going to receive some calls. We're going to receive some calls, hear what our viewers, what they have to say, and then we're going to come back to you to give your closing remarks and your, your final words to uh, everyone who is listening to us. So we're having our first caller right now who is going to call in. So our viewers who are watching us, um, no. We want to receive our first caller, and um, I think we have one person now. Hello, caller. Yes, I am the first person. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 my doctor, I know. Hello, I, you guys. DSA is representing God. You guys are representing DSA. Wow. 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 Doctor, I know. I'll give it to you. Your style of asking question, you you rush to that ocean, and the trauma came rushing to you. <laughs> you rushed to her, and she came out like a lion. Yeah. What a family. Yeah. What a family. Wow. I can't be remain in this family. Wow. Doctor, know your style of asking question is there. Wow. If, the way you ask question, oh my God. Oh my God! If you don't know, if you don't even remember anything, you are remembering that thing for that person by your style. <laughs> Doctor, I know I doff my cap for you. Thank you so much. Sis Chioma, I listen to you. It's like I'm listening to the DSS uh, series here and there. It's like I'm reading his book, his books. Sis Chioma, you are a true disciple of DSS. Lessons. I love you so much, Sis Shoma. I love you so much. You can see how my voice is shaking. This is too much. This is. We love you right back. Let me let me re let me stop here for now. Wow. This is too much. Wow. My beloved God's Army General. Happy birthday. Wow. We we remain here. This is good. Beautiful. I don't have any other family but this family. Beautiful. Beautiful. We are coming. We are coming. Beautiful. <laughs> well, that is our very Queen Chinwe, Queen Mabel. Queen Mabel, thank you so much for calling. Amazing. Well, that is so beautiful, you know, to just hear your testimony. I tell you, you know, Mrs. Mrs. Chioma, I, I tell you, um, hmm. You don't know what is your testimony you shared today, the hope it has given to people. Because, you know, people have been bastardized, you know. People, you know, it just makes me want to cry. You know, imagine you living 40 years of your life, 50 years of your life, and there's nothing, you can't show anything for it, Not, nothing. You're still living from hand to mouth. You're still living in debt. And not like not that you're in, in Africa, you're in you're in I mean you're in, in, in a Western nation. You're in the UK, you're in the US, and there's nothing to show for your life. There's nothing. You have nothing to show. It you know it, it can be heartbreaking. No savings, nothing to live for your children, no inheritance, nothing. Mm. It's just wasted just in church, wasted in religion. And just to hear your, your own transformational story, that your life will have ended like many people who, the only thing we remember about them is that, oh, they, 
once lived, there's nothing to show for it. But with your testimony today, you've made that shift. You've denied the grave of your talent. You've denied the grave of all the things that God has given to you and say, no, I won't go back until I become that voice to the voiceless. Until I become, to, I start releasing everything that God has given to me. You know, your testimony has really, really, really impacted people. I don't know. I think that's the, that's the final call for today. But I, will, I want to give you the, the platform right now. Please just share with us your final thoughts, your final words. What do you want us to hear? You know, over to you, Ma. Oh, thank you so much, DSA, for this platform. You gave us a platform. You open up yourself to us. You made yourself so simple to us. I, I pray that people will listen to this man. I, I pray they will listen to him. He has something for us. He's really preparing us for this time. People should listen to him. Just within two years, my life has taken a different change, a different shape. The way I see my philosophy has changed. My mindset has changed. The way I see the world has really changed. People should get his material and listen, study read, educate themselves, change and run away from this cover they call church. People should run away, save their life, save the world and become what God has called them to be. Dr. Sunday, thank you so much. I can't stop thanking you. Knowing you has really changed my life. Yeah, yeah, it has really changed my life. Reading your materials, I've opened my eyes of understanding to know I'm not here to play. I'm here for a purpose. Thank you so much. And may God bless you for pouring out yourself, for teaching us the word and making us to understand that anytime we call, you're always there for us. And when you see opportunity, you don't keep it to yourself. You always share, share, share. And we have learned to, I've learned to share, share, share. And tell anyone that's here to listen to me. Everywhere I go, I speak to people, I talk to them. And I deliver so many souls because we are here called to be saviors and deliverers of the word. And I thank God I, I, keep, I keep discovering my purpose and running along to be a helper in my word. Thank you so much, Dr. Sunday. Happy birthday. May God keep you, increase you in everything you do. And I advise people there, please go and look for his materials. Read them. It will set you free. Thank you so much. Wow, wow, that is so, that is straight from the heart. Thank you so much, Mrs. Chioma. We're blessed. I appreciate you. Thank you for opening your life to us. Thank you for opening your journey to us. We've learned, we've seen the shifts that has happened in your life. We've seen your testimony so far. And we are encouraged. And we know that if you can do it, then we sure can also. So, to our viewers, who joined us throughout this show. Thank you for leaving your comment. Thank you for sharing. The journey continues. We're not done yet. <laughs> Tomorrow is another day. We're having another person who is going to be sharing his own journey and his own testimony. Don't miss it. Tomorrow, 7 p.m. Kif time, 5 p.m. Nigerian time. God bless you. Bye for now.